Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. And with this video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who, specifically the exclusive San Diego Comic-Con 50th anniversary trailer. Now, I would love more than anything for this to be a reaction to the trailer, and eventually I'm hoping that will be the case. I cannot wait to see this. I've heard vague, you know, reports that this sucker is going to be, like, eyeball-meltingly good, and uh, I can't wait to see it. Um, I might even do a live reaction to it, but uh, frankly, you know, at the beginning of this, there has been an aftermath after the fact. And at the beginning of this, the question is, why is the citizenry of the UK, of Britain, at large, getting the shaft with this stuff. Um, this has been happening time and time again. They're not getting to see the uh, Doctor Who Revisited specials. They, you know, back when, I think, just prior to Series 7 began, there was like a prequel that was filmed, uh, one of two prequels or whatever, that was an American digital download service exclusive. They had to wait to see. And now, in the 50th anniversary year, Moffat and the BBC bring to San Diego Comic-Con an American convention, geeky stuff aplenty, sure, but they go to this American convention and they show the trailer there before anyone else gets to see it. How is this right? How is this not slapping the British community in the face um, when they are paying their dues? I, I mean, it's like part of their mandatory taxation to fund the BBC's productions. They should have, by all rights, by all accounts, first dibs on anything Doctor Who related. And they're not getting it. Um, it it's maddening, really. When we look at the foundations, where the foundations of Doctor Who lay is the British community. Now, I can understand to a certain extent, you know, BBC, Moffat, people behind the show, they understand that it's becoming more worldly accepted and more worldly, you know, aware of and popular. And that's fantastic. That solidifies the future of Doctor Who. If the world at large is becoming more and more familiar with it and more, you know, basically fanboying and fangirling over it, that's fantastic. I love that. But not at the expense of the people who are putting their hard-earned dollars, not by choice, into making sure those productions happen for the rest of us. It's maddening, to put it lightly. And then you have Moffat, Mr. Lord and Master, over all that is TV land, also going to the extent of saying, if this trailer leaks anywhere online from here on out, as long as I am showrunner or until the end of time, whichever comes first, nobody else will ever get any exclusive content at any other convention whatsoever. Prick. Yeah, so I'm very upset by this. I really wish and I really feel for, you know, you cats and kitties that are over there in the UK who aren't getting to see this stuff first. It's wrong as far as I'm concerned. You guys should have this at least weeks ahead of the world at large, including myself. I would love to see this trailer, and I hope this video is soon to be null and void and that we all share in its glory and stuff like that. But quite frankly, it's, it's not right that the British citizenry aren't getting to see this stuff before any of us. They are owed that much. And so, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you think of this, especially those of you who live over in the UK who follow my Doctor Who vids. Uh, do you feel betrayed and insulted by this? I certainly would if I were you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's hope we get to see it soon. So, otherwise, that'll be it for me. Hope this video finds you well. And I'll catch you later. Peace.